baseball, America's pastime. What has happened to the sport that has been known as America's pastime since the Civil War? Over the past 10 years, people have been losing interest in baseball. Why? Is it too slow? Or are people just done with the game? So I started asking the questions to the local baseball league board members to hear it from their point of view and why the young's not as interested in baseball anymore. It's trying to keep them playing throughout. Um, you know, it's sometimes the kids just don't like the slowness of the game. So we, we try to speed up games, especially at the younger level. When I came into baseball commissioner about three years ago, we started, they previously weren't even doing outs, you know, so it was a matter of getting, letting the kids know that if you make three outs, you get to play, you get to go up at bat. And that's what they all want to do. They all want to hit. So the more we got the games moving and um, the players playing all different positions, the better off it was. And you can start seeing a trend to hopefully keep the kids until they're through their majors level. I think it's hard to, I mean, I can give you exact numbers, but I know in 2010, so when um, this is, if I go back 10 years, and I actually went to look at some of the numbers, we had about eight, 800 kids enrolled. And that's six-year-olds all the way to 15-year-olds. So if we had about 800 kids in 2010, I think I looked at the last full year that we had, and it was about 2018, not when Kevin finished. And I think we only had about 475 or roughly 500 kids. Um, so we added four- and five-year-old T-ball kids. So we added kids to the program. So that kind of opened it up. And if you were to say, okay, 500 versus 800, you know, it's about 45% drop. I think every, every sport has a, has a problem. Um, but baseball itself is, you know, it's, it's less, you know, basketball, you got your five out there, you know, um, you know, hockey, you've got your guys out there, soccer, you've got your, your nine or 11 out there. And you're always involved. Whereas, you know, you, you could spend an entire game in right field and never even touch the ball, you know, and, and get up to bat twice. Is that fun? I don't know. It's tough. You know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's so, I think inherently it's, it's a tough sport to, to check all the boxes, but you know, just, just making sure that the teams are even, uh, the kids are having fun and picking the right coaches, I think is the key thing. I was wondering what each league has for numbers of kids and what they are seeing from other leagues and their numbers of kids. Four senior teams this year, we got five majors. So we had to go down uh, one team this year in majors, but we went up a couple teams in minors because this year's 12s was actually, is actually a really, really small group. Not really sure why, um, but they're a really, really small group. So we can we contracted a team this year, and we'll probably add two teams next year. Um, so again, it's a little bit of an ebb and flow for baseball. There's I've seen a slight decrease, um, and you'd think the numbers would actually increase in this town because of the influx of new residents and school choice. But the numbers have kind of stayed the same. Yeah, there is a decrease in a lot of numbers. Teams that used to have A and B teams for summer ball are some some of them are lucky if they can get a 10 or 12 kids to play all summer long where before you'd have significantly higher numbers. I'm, I'm not really sure where it was but you know probably right around the 10 year ago mark and I, if, if you remember like we didn't have any kids if you look at the two all-star teams we played on they only had maybe one kid who was playing AAU and the only choice was really like like the Eagles now there's like six teams you can choose from around here. Um, and, and, and you really don't have to be, you don't have to be an elite player. You just have to want to play more baseball and then they'll find a spot for you. What was mentioned multiple times throughout the interviews was that other sports were taking kids. And I asked if they would go into more information about other programs pulling kids. So I, I just think, you know, the more, and like kids like Buron and the Kramers, like they were playing they were out playing um, lacrosse, you know, at the Lacsachusetts level. You know, kids like you were playing basketball. Evan was playing rec hoop and soccer. Like everybody played a ton of stuff. Uh, but I, th I think it's it's more it's more focused. The last four years, it's been pretty level. You know, so I think if you looked at the last five years or so, it's it's been somewhat stable. 
So maybe, you know, you had that last push 10 years ago and then now it's leveled off. Um, I think there's a lot of different sports also pulling from each other. Um, so there's a little bit of overlap. So everybody now has other options um, to play other sports. So, so we've had less players because some of our athletes now that can play in, and they may play basketball um, in the spring now with some of these club teams, AAU teams, um, even AAU baseball. So if, if, if anyone's looking to challenge themselves a little bit more than just town and your casual player, now kids are moving away from town baseball and playing more AAU. And then even football. Football's crept into, you know, that May and June, like as soon as school's over, now there's football camps leading into August. So it's funny because some of our better athletes now, where we used to see every level of athlete play baseball everyone played i'm finding that a lot of the better players are now leaning towards their next sport whether if it's basketball or whether if it's you know high school football and they're getting ready for their preseason so now there's like a preseason before the season actually starts um and so that draws away some of the numbers so you know so i think there's a comp a combat you know culmination of a lot of factors but there's definitely a decline but wow. with most of the focus being on the younger kids i asked how are they keeping the older kids such as seventh graders and up interested in baseball here in here in town it it is only high school because the numbers will not translate into creating additional teams sometimes we do have a parent who will reach out and do a private team and contact 11 or 12 kids who have played and played on tournaments but are not playing in any AAU or high school level and they'll put a team together. The seniors is for for us it's a very casual league. I think the kids have a lot more fun. You know, they're out there, they're kind of busting each other's balls, you know, um the parents are a lot further away from them because of the size of the field and the field whatever. So it's I think there's a dynamic there as well. Um, and because, I don't know, because it's not majors, like, you know, the kids don't, I mean, they care who wins, but they don't really care. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're there to have fun. So it's, um, and, and I think you see that too, right? Well, where are the kids that, where are the real good ball players? The kids who are, if they go out like you, like Willie, like, like those guys, they go play, they're going to play AAU and they're going to play for the town and that's it. You know, they're not, it's, it's a, it's a hard it's a hard situation to jump off the bus and beat it back over to the field in order to get there in the second inning. You know what I mean? For, for it to go play for, you know, Garland, you know what I mean? So, uh, and, and some guys don't want to, they don't want to put that pressure on themselves. Some guys don't want to uh, take up a roster spot and be able to only show up half the time. Uh, so you get, sort of that AAU thing again, now it just becomes varsity sports where varsity sports takes away from the rec league too, because those players have another outlet for, uh, for what they're doing. Well, what some leagues do now. And so uh, see 11s and 12s are eligible to play 50, 70. And that's your, your, that's your typical, like, you know, you're leading, you can pick off, um, you know, the field's a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit more challenging for those players. So the game's a little bit faster, which is good. And so the 11s and 12s can kind of incorporate themselves and play at that level. Um, you know, what it does too is it takes away from your little league level. But as a league, you know, you got to determine what's important to you. You know, I think some leagues don't do, or if they do, they can choose playing little league but a lot of leagues just set up, set themselves up as 11 and 12 and 13 year old, 50, 70 or pony league, they used to call it. And so when you play at that level, now you're playing like, like, like at the, at the big diamond level without using the bigger field. So that may keep the kids a little bit more engaged mm -hmm. um, because now you're not using, you know, it, the kids are not anchored to bases um, you know, the whole, you know, pass ball thing or, um, you know, what, what some of the restrictions you may have with Little League, um, you know, 50-70 may be a little bit more engaging and keep more players 
um, you know, in the league. Out of all of the interviews, I believe from my own experience that this last comment is the most important. If you can, if you can create an environment where coaches and the program focuses on making kids better while they're having fun, um, I, I think that's 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 the recipe for success. After talking to all these board members and looking at the data given to me, is it really that the game is too slow? I think that's only a part of the issue at the professional level and people watching it all on TV. But baseball isn't a game that most people would fall in love with by just watching it all on TV. The way they fall in love with the game is going to the games and playing in them. Getting the feel of the ball snapping into their glove or the pop of the ball hitting off their bat. The excitement that is still in the game. Has it taken a new form? Maybe. But also, it's the same old sport that they had 30 years ago.